Honestly, I wasn't even planning to record any footage that day. I was just out running some errands, but luckily I had my drone with me. Uh, I had two batteries that were fully charged and I used one of them to capture some shots. But then I was like, hmm, what should I do with my second battery? Should I continue shooting some photos or should I record a short video for the channel? And of course, I decided to do that to shoot some um, footage for the channel because every now and then I would like to come back to just shooting for fun. Uh, I cannot be shooting some tutorials or tips every single video. Every now and then I would like to just go out there and just enjoy and just fly for fun, record some footage for fun without having any purpose and just share it with you guys because I know there are many of you out there that actually really enjoy just watching those videos and taking in that beauty of the nature. Personally, I really love watching videos like this, so hopefully you will as well. With that being said, the weather was very stormy, like I said, it was on the brink of starting to rain. It was quite windy, but of course, the Mavic 2 Pro took it like a champ. Uh, I was so, so impressed with how stable it was, even in those strong winds, and I was even able to capture some long exposure shots which as you all know required the drone to be completely stable in the air and hover for maybe one or two seconds depending on your shutter speed. So I took out my Freewell filters for long exposure photography. Uh, I used the ND400, ND1000 and I even tried the ND2000 but it was just too dark for these lighting conditions. Uh, the shutter speed was about one second for most of the shots but of course I tweaked them uh, a bit just to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, but generally one second is ideal for me. And with that being said, those photos that you are seeing on the screen right now have been edited with my own Lightroom presets. I always use them as a base and then I tweak them according to the light, according to the shadows, the highlights, everything is of course different for every single photo. So you need to tweak it uh, to achieve the desired result, but that's a good base. And of course I will link them in the description if you want to check them out as well. And that's basically all the information that I have. It's not really anything that useful, but I just wanted to share uh, some footage that I captured. It was out of the blue, like I said, it wasn't planned to be a video for YouTube but uh, I think it's great uh, to share some footage every now and then that you're just recording for fun. With that being said, I will be back very soon with one of my regular videos. So stay tuned for that. Take care guys and I'll catch you soon. Bye bye.